Hello guys, it's your boy Dash. I'm here with a new video for you guys today. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss none of the videos that I post. I want to give a huge shout out to Benny Johnson for getting this video out for us today, guys. The original link to this video will be in my description box, so guys, make sure you go over, go to Benny's channel, click subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop into this video because this interview that Biden did with George Stephanopoulos... It's not good, guys. It's not good. I'm telling you guys, it's not good. But let's check this video out. Thank you for doing this. How do you pull this out? Frightening. This is not how decent people behave. This is not how people who want to be president behave. You know, there are not many people watching anyway. So, is there anything you regret? This is sort of the last gasp. I know you believe that Mr. Trump will be a better president of the United States. That's what we're talking about. Total disaster. What are you going to do about it? Let's skip over that. But he's going to win? We're overwhelmingly popular <laughs> with the American people. But look, I never thought I'd, I never thought that would happen. Never, 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 never. If it fails here, Katie bore the door. We'll see. Thanks for having me. Bye. Benny, man, he's crazy. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. There are certain events in life that you really have to show up for, right? Your wedding, the birth of your children, kicking the game-winning field goal in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. You got to kind of be there and bring your A game. And Joe Biden had this sort of proverbial last-minute miracle field goal potential tonight with this rare interview with George Stephanopoulos on ABC News. And let's just say he shanked that ball directly into the face of his coach, and then it hit a baby in the stands. Uh, this was a nightmare. These are the headlines, by the way, from uh, the clips of this interview. Joe Biden doesn't even remember uh, watching the debate. He can't remember if he even re-watched his debate performance. And I don't think he really even know what was happening during the debate because to me, he seemed completely lost throughout the entire debate. I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen it, if you guys watched it, but he looked entirely lost throughout the entire debate. What a senile jackass. This guy then goes on into word soup, alphabet soup, word salad, a uh, feast of it. A, a, a proverbial buffet, and I'll play you all of those clips. It's been a really, really bad series of events for Joe Biden. Over the last 48 hours, they've been really attempting to uh, rehabilitate Joe Biden. And the first thing that Joe Biden did was call himself a black woman. I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, the first black woman, mm -hmm. served with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to have been the first black woman in the Supreme Court. There's just so much what? that we can do because together, we, there's nothing. Look, this is the United States of America. Then the next thing that Joe Biden did was when he was pressed by a physician who's also the governor of Hawaii on a private phone call with a bunch of Democrat governors to reassure them that he's in good mental health, uh, whether he is in good mental health, his explanation was uh, that his health is fine. It's just my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden said he couldn't do events after 8 o'clock and he needs to get more sleep. He's the damn president of the United States. A bunch of Democrat <laughs> donors, including the Disney heiress and a bunch of Hollywood yeah. producers and uh, fancy people that donate to Democrats. And all the money's drying up. Nobody's donating to Joe Biden anymore. Uh, Joe Biden effectively claimed stolen valor in front of a bunch of active duty military members by saying that he's been in battles. Uh, no, Joe Biden's never served in the military. Uh, Joe Biden had a rambling, insane monologue without a teleprompter, cringe inducing at the White House. His staff had to literally pull him away. Joe Biden got on stage with Kamala Harris and called her a ho, ho, ho. And we give thanks to our commander in chief, the, the president of the United States, the extraordinary president of the United States, at this point i just personally at this point i really think they're just playing with him like i, I literally just think that they think that like it, it's a game i mean because like how can they continue to let this go on like how, how 
the public sees it. The public knows what kind of condition is he's in. The public know how his health is, and he his health isn't there. And they are literally just pushing him more and more. And I mean, it, it's crazy to see what they're actually doing to him. You know, it's, just, it's weird. Independence Day. <laughs> they let Joe Biden go out on the balcony of the White House in front of the cameras of the world with a gigantic applesauce schmutz stain all over his jacket. It's starting to get sad now, looking kind of like, I mean, this is what you see people look like in nursing homes. You ever, you, uh, do you ever visit a nursing home? This is what people look like in nursing homes. This can't bad. Look, look at this. The White House is now effectively a massive nursing home. And of course, Hunter Biden back inside of the White House on the one year anniversary of them finding baggies of cocaine all over the White House. So yeah, things have gotten bad here. Joe Biden did events today. Uh, there were people saying in the crowd trolling Joe Biden past the torch, Joe. So Joe Biden's getting trolled at his own events. Uh, Joe Biden can't even remember what year he is saying he's going to beat Donald Trump in the year 2020. I'll beat Donald Trump. I will beat him again in 2020. By the way, we're going to do it again in 2024. Yikes. Big yikes. Uh, Joe Biden doesn't, again, know what year it is. But Joe Biden, definitely 100% super duper pinky square assurity uh, guarantees it. I'm the sitting president of the United States. I'm the nominee for the Democrat Party. I'm staying in the race. Okay, so let's hear from him. Let's hear from Joe Biden in this ABC News uh, uh, nightmare. Joe Biden doesn't know if he watched the debate or not. Here we go. And uh, did you ever watch the debate afterwards? I don't think I did, no. Well, what, I'm trying, what I want to get at is, uh, what were you experiencing as you were going through the debate? Did you know how badly it was going? Yeah, look. The whole way I prepared, nobody's fault of mine. Nobody's fault of mine. I, uh... I prepared what I usually would do, sitting down, as I did come back with foreign leaders or the National Security Council, for explicit detail. And I realized about partway through that, you know, all the, I get quoted, the New York Times had me down at 10 points before the debate, nine now or whatever the hell it is. The fact of the matter is that what I looked at is that he also lied 28 times. I couldn't, I mean, the way the debate ran, not my fault, nobody else's fault, no one else's fault. But it seemed like you were having trouble from the first question in, even before he spoke. Well, I just had a bad night. Nobody's home. Look at those eyes. Look at that. This is the towel. This is the towel. Look at these eyes. There's no one there. There's nobody there. Joe Biden doesn't even know if he rewatched the debate. This debate, by the way, was seen by hundreds of millions of people. CNN released their numbers and said just on CNN platforms, it was seen by 100 million people. This is the most watched uh, presidential debate in history, actually. Did you ever watch the debate? I don't think I did. Do you know how badly it was going? Incoherent rambling. It seems like you were having trouble from the first question. Well, I just had a bad night. All right. Uh, Joe Biden doesn't remember if you rewatched the debate for can you guys imagine uh, if Trump would have did this same interview and said the same thing, what they would have done? You know, I mean, it, if I don't, how do I say this? I, I entirely do feel bad for him. You know, like he just reached that point in time and age where it, it hits you, you know? And, like, he said he don't remember if he watched the debate or not. I don't think that'll be easy to forget if you watched or not because I just think it's over for him. I'm, I'm serious. I think it's over. Performance. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, my. Oh, my heavens. ABC interview was supposed to shut down talk of Biden's decline. He immediately says he doesn't remember if he watched the debate. He's cooked. Oh, baby. Total failure. Mm. My grandmother passed away at 100... And she would talk to me about soap operas that she was watching in detail. Uh, Joe Biden can't remember if he watched the presidential debate he participated in eight days ago. It just keeps getting worse. Mm -hmm. It keeps getting worse. Listen to this. You and your team said, have said you had a bad night. 
a bigger fit. But your friend Nancy Pelosi actually framed the question that I think is on the minds of millions of Americans. Was this a bad episode or the sign of a more serious condition? It's a bad episode. Uh, no indication of any serious condition. I was exhausted. I didn't listen to my instincts in terms of preparing. And I had a bad night. You know, you say you were exhausted, and, and I know you've said that before as well, but you came, and you did have a tough month, but you came home from Europe about 11 or 12 days before the debate, spent six days in Camp David. Why wasn't that enough rest time, enough recovery time? Because I was sick. I was feeling terrible. Matter of fact, the docs with me, I asked if they did a COVID test because we kind of figured out what was wrong. They did a test to see whether or not I had uh, some infection, you know, a virus. It's been a two-man race for several months. Inflation has come down. In those last few months, he's become a convicted felon. Yet you're still falling further behind. You guys keep saying that. George, do you, look, you know polling better than anybody. Do you think polling data is accurate as it used to be? I don't think so, but I think when you look at all the polling data right now, it shows that he's certainly ahead in the popular vote, probably even more ahead in the battleground states. And one of the other key factors there is it shows that in many of the battleground states, the Democrats who are running for Senate in the House are doing better than you are. I know you said you have an ongoing assessment. Have you had a full neurological and cognitive evaluation? I've had, I get a full neurological test every day with me. And I've had a full physical. I had, you know, I mean, I, I've been a Walter Reed for my physicals. I mean, uh, yes. I, I, I know we have, I mean, I, I just, anyway, I don't want to take too much credit. I have a great staff. But all the, do you dispute that there have been more lapses, especially in the last several months? Can I run the 110 flat? No. But I'm still in good shape. Are you more frail? No. I know you I'll spoke. my schedule. <laughs> there are concerns about your age and your health are growing, so that's why I'm asking, could, to reassure them, would you be willing to have the independent medical evaluation? Watch me between, there's a lot of time left in this campaign. It's over 125 days. So the answer is decision. The right? Yes, there is a lot of time left in this campaign, but each interview or debate that he does, it just keeps declining and declining. Like, after watching the debate, you know, some people probably still had a hope that, you know, he could recover from this. But right after the debate, he did this interview. <laughs> I mean, it's like times two, you know, it's game over. It's game over. Right now, it's no, you, you don't want to do that, right? Well, I've already done it. I mean, on a more practical level, Washington Post just reported in the last hour that Senator Mark Warner is, is assembling a group of senators together to try and convince you to stand down because they don't think you can win. Well, Mark is a good man. We've never had that. He also tried to get the nomination, too. Mark's not. Mark and I have a different perspective. I respect him. And if Chuck Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries and Nancy Pelosi come down and say, we're worried that if you stay in the race, we're going to lose the House and the Senate, how will you respond? I respect going into detail with them. I've spoken to all of them in detail, including Jim Clyburn, every one of them. They all said I should stay in the race. Stay in the race. No one said, no one said, I should leave. But if they do? Well, it's like, <laughs> we're not going to do that. You sure? Well, yeah, I'm sure. Look, I mean, if the Lord Almighty came down and said, Joe, get out of the race, I'll get out of the race, the Lord Almighty's not coming down. What the hell are you saying? <laughs> what? It's the same face. <laughs> Guys, please excuse me. Vinny's reaction to that, oh, that's my reaction. I, I'm like, uh, uh, guys, please excuse me. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. But Benny's reaction is my literally, literally reaction that I'm like, in, in my mind, it's like the way that he said it literally just took the words out of my mouth. And like, that's, that's what did it to me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. But I'm trying to figure out like, what's he saying? Like, it's not even clicking. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it to click. You know, I'm trying to picture what he's picturing and I just can't. Like, it, I just completely cannot picture what he's talking about at all.
Look at this. It's the same face. I thought this was just Trump face when he was debating Trump. Look at that. The hollow, empty eyes, the gaping, open mouth. Look at it. It's the same face. The fake bronzer and tanner. Look at that. Oh, my God, dude. Bro is just cooked. But without question, the best news of the day was not this uh, train wreck, car wreck, tire fire of an interview uh, all wrapped up inside of a dumpster fire, like, blasted into the sun. The best news of the day was Joe Biden confirming that he's going to do another debate with Donald Trump. Oh, oh my God. I... Guys, listen. I love all of you guys. But if he does another debate, there is no returning from it. I'm telling you guys. If they do another debate, there is no returning from it. I mean, from the first debate, I've seen a lot of people that were Democrats completely just, like, lose it. Like, they were losing their minds. So I can only imagine if he did another one, he does worse than he did on the first one, it'll be Democrats fighting Democrats. I'll be sitting back, chilling, watching the Democrats fight Democrats. And the best clip of the day goes to Gavin Newsom, who's campaigning for Joe Biden in Pennsylvania and uh, decided to have a Freudian, they call this a Freudian slip, and talk about what an incredible president Donald Trump is. Between that reality and the reality that we've experienced with this great American comeback, the man of integrity, honor, decency, and Donald Trump with an extraordinary, excuse me, Joe Biden, <laughs> man of decency. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of the resident of the White House and the man who is apparently commanding all of our troops, making all the decisions. <laughs> Joe Biden didn't even make the decision as to what clothes he was going to wear today. Like, Joe Biden made no decisions. Joe Biden makes zero decisions, okay? We, we, <laughs> whatever we have here in this country, it is not a democracy. It is not a republic. Um, it is a nightmare. And there's only one way to wake up from that nightmare. Vote. Vote in 2024. The guy with the red hat. That's the smart idea. All right? Enough of this. Enough of these, enough of these, de enough of these degenerates and these people lying to us. It's just going to get worse from here. We can't wait, actually. It's going to be very entertaining. Uh, it's going to be bad for the nation. It's going to be very entertaining. And then we're going to fix uh, this place. All right, guys, you know what we have to go out and do to fix all of this. I mean, right now, it's not good, and we got to do everything we can to fix it. You guys heard what Benny say. You know what to do. And what do you guys think will happen during the second debate? I mean, like, I can't even imagine what it's even going to go like. I'm, I'm stuck trying to just picture it in my head, but I can't because of the first one. The first one just... I was, it's like watching what happened in the first during the first debate it's like watching your favorite football team and let's say their rankings are at 99 right and then you go against another team and their rankings are at like 60 it was just complete game mode like you, you know you're gonna win no matter what I personally think if there's another debate a lot of of top Democrats, a lot of Democrats, they're not going to be happy. They're not because they seen what happened during the first debate. They don't want it to happen again. I mean, they right now they're they're doing everything they can to get Biden to step down. So I can only imagine what they're going to think if he says, "Hey, yeah, I'm going to 100% do this second debate. Here's the date. Here's the time." Now, guys, here's the thing. It, it might be completely different. It might be. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to put the carriage in front of the horse. It might be, but if it's not, I mean, I think a lot of is gonna break loose. I mean, I I entirely think a lot is gonna break loose, and at the end of the day, it all comes down to 
what really is going to happen, what they have planned, because there's no way that they don't have these things planned. I think personally they have these things planned, like they had this interview planned and whatnot. But I think personally, if it, there's another debate, it is going to be crazier. Like, I think CNN numbers are going to double. Um, but guys, listen, let me know what you guys think about today's video down in the comment section. That will be a wrap for today's video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.